So I'm a neurologist and I was a physical therapist and I really focused my research on looking at folds and balance in people with MS. And one of the really interesting things to me and I think to people who have MS and their families and friends is for people with MS, certainly they all want a cure and we all want a cure, but while they live with MS, one of their biggest fears is loss of mobility and loss of independence. And one of the major things that leads to that is loss of balance and falls. And as they fall somewhat frequently, you start with a cane, you end up in a wheelchair, and then you can't live at home, or you don't and you just avoid a lot of activities. And so I'm really trying to understand what sets people up for that, and then obviously the next piece is how do we best substitute or ameliorate or fix that kind of problem for people. I think one of the big discoveries really is we used to think that the reason people had poor balance was either they had poor coordination or because they were weak. And what I'm really starting to find is it's because they don't feel where their feet are quickly enough to adjust. And so if you walked on an uneven surface, you have to adjust your position and you have to do it quickly. Otherwise, you're either unsteady or, worst of all, you fall. And people with MS, conduction is slow. And so they just don't get that information that fast to be able to respond. And so that really gives us some hints about how to intervene, what things might be helpful. The information I just gave you was based on a little study with 10 people, and I'm just starting a study that was funded to look at a much larger group of people and really hone down on what the nature of imbalance, which pieces contribute to falls, so it can really start to design the best interventions, but really still looking at mechanisms in a much more systematic and large scale way. As researchers and as care providers, for us to really understand what matters to the people, to the public, and to people with MS. It was very interesting. When I started working on falls, I spoke to other people in the field and said, this is really what I want to look at. I think it's important. It was surprising to me how many providers went, falls? I never ask about that. I have no idea. I don't think my patients fall. And would then come back to me next time I ran into them and said, oh, I've started asking my patients about falls. They're all falling. I had no clue. So just to listen in a somewhat different and less constrained setting than the doctor visit, where we get the answers to the questions we ask, when it's led by folks out there, we get to know what matters to them.